having spent plenty of time in Sydney during my childhood, if you were to ask me about the most iconic pieces of public transport in Sydney, I would give you three answers. Number one, the freshwater class ferries. Number two, the Tangara double-decker train. And number three, the Mercedes-Benz 0405 NH CNG fitted with the custom coach's Citaro body. Today, we're going to talk about the third option because its days and services are being numbered. In fact, I heard a rumor that today, the 30th of April, is their last day in service, but I can't really verify whether that is the case. Before I go too far into the video, I need to point out that the Mercedes-Benz Citaro and the Custom Coaches Citaro are quite different beasts. The Mercedes-Benz Citaro is built in Mannheim in Germany, or in Turkey, and is popular throughout Europe and Asia. I've caught Citaros in London and Singapore, and spotted plenty throughout Europe, including this one in Naples. We even had some a little closer to home on a trial basis including Brisbane Transport 1599, which was used on a variety of high capacity routes, and between 2004 and 2007, three hydrogen powered Sitaros were used in Perth. The custom coaches Sitaro, on the other hand, had its frame built in Germany, but its panels applied in Australia. So it looks similar to a custom coaches 550 or CB60, but with a flat window line, unusual destination sign placement and Sitaro headlights. So now that we've covered the fundamental differences, let's talk about why these buses had such an impact on Sydney. The first Sitaros, and I use the term Sitaro lightly, were delivered in 1999, and a few of them were used at the Sydney 2000 Olympics to transport athletes, including the aptly numbered 2000. The last Sitaro entered service in 2002, and these ended up being some of the last Mercedes 0405 NH buses ever produced. In 2007, cracks were discovered in some of the bus frames and this required the fitment of braces over some front side windows to add additional strength. Fortunately, this seems to have worked because I don't hear of too many Sitaros snapping in half, even if they do have plenty of other reliability issues. Speaking of which, Let's talk about that engine. The Sitaro is powered by a compressed natural gas stored in two tanks mounted inside a roof pod. Those gas tanks feed a 235 horsepower engine and power is sent through a five speed ZF Auto. Despite the cleaner CNG, these engines are still only rated at Euro 2 emission standards. Either way, they are pretty loud, so let's have a listen to that engine, gearbox and squeaky fan belt all competing to deafen you. Today's Sitaro ride is on board 1301, which has operated for transit systems after the Region 6 takeover on July 1st, 2018. Beforehand, it, like all other Sitaros, operated for state transit. Being part of the transit systems family, 
Some of the seats have been replaced with transit system seat fabric rather than the state transit graffiti fabric that they still use to this day. The Sitaro has always been a divisive design, with a loyal fan base and also a staunch anti Sitaro crowd. Either way, considering that State Transit bought 300 of these, they have been a big part of Sydney's transport network for the last 20 years or so. Personally, I am a fan and I've always felt that a trip to Sydney isn't complete without a ride on one. What is hard to fathom is the fact that the older Scania L113 CRL and the Volvo B10 BLE will end up outliving it. Along Parramatta Road, you can see one of the new Gemalang body BYDs which are now making their way onto the network. So I've caught a few electric buses now, including these, and I've been quite impressed with them, so I think I'm going to have to do a review sometime. Waiting at the lights, another Sitaro on a 438X rounds the corner heading towards Martin Place. Here you can see the brace in the windows, or if not, you can see the deep scratches in the glass which cloud your vision badly. As I'm also on a 438X service, inner Sydney suburbs like Leichhardt still have quite tight streets, and it can be pretty difficult to squeeze in and around some of the streets. While waiting for these lights to change, this Scania on its way to Camp C squeezes its way past. It is with some sadness that I press this stop bell for the very last time, as it's pretty likely that this was my last trip on board a Sitara. As this Sitara screeches away, it's time to say thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon.